The new film Story Av follows Bronx teen Kadir who loses his way after losing his brother, essentially, right? And after a chance meeting with an MTA conductor played by Luis Guzman, Kadir begins to see that life isn't just black and white. Take a look. It's nice to meet you, Kadir. Él tiene talento. Without me, huh? Okay. Okay. Even sandwiches are my favorite. You know what? They don't even come from Cuba. Can you believe that? Okay, well, I'm sure you build up an appetite carrying around that big gun. Yo, what's good with this money? I ain't trying to be here all night. We're hip -hop. We have life. Such a powerful scene. And the star and executive producer of Story Ave, Luis Guzman, he joins us now. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Thanks Luis. for having me. We're so excited that you're here. This is such a wonderful film. It's being praised by critics. How did you come to this script? How did you get involved? Um, actually, it took 18 months to come to me. It came through a friend, Ruben Rivera, who said, hey, this young man wrote this part for you in the script. We spoke through emails. He sent me the script. I read it in one reading. I called my people and said, guess what? I'm doing this movie. And uh, my son, uh, Sami, and myself helped to finance part of the movie. And here we are. Wow, that's incredible. And I mean, you are a New Yorker, and this story has such roots in New York. I mean, Story Ave is the stop in the Bronx where pivotal things happen. But how, do you, how much do you think the, story, the city kind of plays into this story? Well, it's like the Bronx, like you've never seen it before. I mean, the, the Bronx itself, the borough becomes a real character within this story. Also, the, you know, j just the fact that I played this MTA worker who does have his issues, and he comes across this young man, and I become his mentor, as opposed to become his enemy. And uh, we develop a beautiful relationship. Yeah. Right, and your character really sees something in Kadir. Like you said, you become a mentor, but Luis has his own issues. Do you think that part of the reason he helps him is to make himself feel better, too? Yeah, well, you know, my character in this movie, he did lose his son, lost his wife to cancer. And he does have his own demons that he battles. And this young man kind of fills a void for him. Um, he, he, you know, it's like I said, it's, it's a beautiful kind of a love story mm, yeah. to the Bronx, but also to inspire people to not give up on each other, to help each other out, to provide some kind of positive guidance. And to not really just count people out when they're down, yeah. right? That's right. Now, we know that you used to be a social worker, so did any of that play into how you... you oh, totally. I, I was a social worker at the Henry Street Settlement House on the Lower East Side. Mm -hmm. uh, best job I ever had because I was helping young people to help themselves. Mm -hmm. So in this role, I just kind of used that knowledge, used that skills because that's a part of my soul. Yeah. And again, in this character and coming across this young man, I mean, he pulls out a gun on me and I look at this kid and say, you're not that guy. Yeah. You're not that guy, why don't you come, sit down, break bread with me, and that's how the relationship begins to unfold. And it, I, I think it's a beautiful thing because not everything has to be a tragedy. Well, it is an incredible film. It's incredibly moving. You are wonderful. But we also have to talk about a fun fact about you is that you love to dance. <laughs> Did we ever see you take on something like Dancing with the Stars? Have they ever asked you? Fingers crossed. Uh, they, first of all, first of all, listen, they could just mail the trophy to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. we'll let them, we're going to send them this clip. All right. Well, you can catch Story Ave in select theaters right now. Luis, thank you so much for being here. Thank you.